find it somewhere in your soul the last bit of strength that'll take you on home just find it somewhere in your heart to put the past in the past and go back to the start selfish prideful come get a eye full of ugly so we still with christians right check but are we Christians because we take the front rows on Sunday mornings or we pay our tithe, those monthly offerings, or we never sleep at church even when the others are yawning? So maybe then we rep this Christ, so we call in, right? Check. But what if I told you it ain't really so, that your seat position never determines the placement of your soul, that your titans never please God, though you drop them in the bowl, but your heart is what Christ is looking into. So those who keep those enough ain't really fools. <laughs> Maybe they just got sleeping issues. I don't mean to be funny, but it's time we trash these issues. Discard these fallacies like some mucus reading tissue. So when a brother sneezes, we really do mean bless you. See, Christianity doesn't have to be judgmental. Just because he does things not like you doesn't mean he's gone mental. He grew up in a different surrounding environment. So maybe you should just cut him some slacks. And no, I do not be that literal. Though that wouldn't be a bad idea. See, the Bible told us to walk in love and not walk and judge. So we should adore and not despise the brother called Josh because you think he's too swagger and fly to truly be in the church. So you pray for him. Lord, he needs to be touched when you really should be praying for yourselves. How kind of us, right? Check. So we deliberately ignore the sister Crystal because you truly hate all of her hairstyles and she should try wearing some tights to cover her thighs. She ain't come here to worship God. Those are just lies. She came to seduce the brothers. So we spend our time talking to God about her, but not talking to her. Using her as sermon lessons, but not preaching to her. Looking daggers at her in service, but not reaching out to her. And you say you pray to God to talk to her. How truly generous and Christian of us, right? No check. It's time to stop this hypocrisy. See, because Christ came to bring a new legacy. The laws are dead, works now just fallacy. So we should try embracing the sinners a little bit more intimately. And yes, Yes, that includes the sister with the unwanted pregnancy. See, the Bible expertly showed us that Christ ate with the sinners, not the good ones. With the bad doors, not the religious. Ignoring those that taught him sacrilegious. They they knew everything, but they obviously never met Jesus. They knew nothing. They were just religious flea bags, thrown about judgmental bean bags, not knowing they got the bean back. Sort of like a boomerang, their fingers pointed at them back. I bet Jesus laughed at their ignorance. They had waited so long for the Savior but gave him no recognizance. I bet they read Isaiah over and over again, reciting it like a poem. And yet the Savior was and they didn't even know him. It's funny how things work, see. How we say we'll give anything for the gospel but we really are the stumbling blocks. How we say we won't give anything for sinners to be saved but we expect them to knock so we can open the door, not Christ. See, we are the ones condemning not Christ because if they do not meet our standards, they cannot meet Christ. But it's all wrong. It's time to stop criticizing. Christ, came, Christ showed, or kept on practicalizing what true Christianity should be. A true Christian should be able to speak love, breathe love, be love. A true Christian should be able to give a cup of water to a thief and not hit him with a stick. A true Christian should be a lover and not a fighter. Find it somewhere in your soul. The last bit of strength that'll take you on home. Just find it somewhere in your heart to put the past in the past and go back to the start. Selfish, prideful, come get a eye full of ugly dark stain on a once wonderful resume. Leasily strolls down the road of perdition.